Hello everyone, welcome back to Crypto Malaysia. How does a uh, fast scalable layer one with privacy smart contract using multi-party computation sounds to you? And in addition to all that, it's going to be built on substrate, which makes it a possible parachain to the Polkadot ecosystem. Uh, to me, that sounds really interesting. And uh, this project, Out of Zero, has been a project that has been uh, on my uh, radar for quite some time. So I met the founder, Dr. Matthew Nimberg, in Singapore in 2019 during Block Show. And since then, um, you know, they, uh, in the beginning, they were really focused on the privacy smart contract uh, portion. But I've seen that this project has grown. Uh, it's built on a DAG, so it is extremely fast, 100,000 TPS, and you know, sub-second validation, as you can see here. Um, and they will also have a decentralized exchange and a bridge to Ethereum. And that makes them uh, super, super interesting. So, so what is this uh, privacy smart contract, right? And why is it important? Well, right now, um, as you as you know, uh, it is important, you know, for open source code to be viewable by everyone. But the issue is really that the data that is uh, being fed into the smart contract on Ethereum, which is uh, totally non-private, um, could also mean that some businesses uh, may not be um, you know, may, may not be too keen to adopt, um, you know, decentralization, right? Because there's a, actually a lot of data where uh, they would like to keep private, but of course they still like the business logic automation of smart contracts. So, so I think this, uh, you know, this interest in privacy, of course, you know, just a couple of years ago, I was with a project called Zcoin and Beam, and mainly the focus was on privacy transaction, right? And that's kind of important. But as we have learned, um, you know, nowadays people don't really care about, you know, uh, privacy uh, transaction. Uh, mainly, they care most of all above anything else is actually liquidity, right? So if I want to, you know, I want to transact on a blockchain such as a Bitcoin or Ethereum because they have, you know, the greatest liquidity out there, uh, and not so much uh, the privacy portion, right? But of course, uh, there's still privacy coins. But since then, the idea of privacy has actually evolved. So now we're talking about decentralized ID, such as a Kube protocol that you know gives you the so-called privacy-first uh, you know option where you can you know stay anonymous and also you know have the advantages of you know operating an ID. And also when it comes to uh, smart contracts, right? So so that's kind of like you know where the privacy space is going, and I think that's uh, that's really awesome. And out of zero, I think will be one of the projects that a lot of people is gonna pay attention to, especially you know a couple of months down the line when they, whenever they launch. So um, so as you can see here, they will have a dex and a decentralized dark pool. That's absolutely important because uh, nowadays the the bar is a bit higher. You can't just have a really awesome layer one. You've got to have actually a, a D app on top. And one of the first D app in order to draw the liquidity of the chain actually be a decentralized exchange so that really makes sense um, they also have uh, you know file storage with cloud uh, that's uh, you know optional and also you know uh, they are pre-reviewed so if you're a Cardano fan um, this is one of the selling points of Cardano so Dr. Matthew is um, he's a researcher and as you can see here there's uh, quite a number of PhDs on board so they like to do it the proper way you know it's a uh, might take a little bit longer, but it's, you know, just more solid uh, overall. So, you know, I do see some uh, familiar faces. So this is not, a, a, you know, a totally foreign or unknown project. These are people who's been in the space for quite some time and, you know, are highly capable, uh, highly reliable. Okay. So now uh, these are some of the applications that we can imagine. Um, decentralized DNS, wallet, exchange. So there's a lot of stuff that can be built on top. And I really think that... Uh, you know, um, just like any other platform, they would welcome uh, other uh, the apps to build on them. Okay, so um, let's uh, look at the project progress right now. So we're at 2021 quarter one, and right now the research is on DEX and a stable coin economy. Obviously, it's very important. I think the understanding has evolved to a point where people understand that the mainnet coin has to be somewhat stable, uh, as you can see with uh, you know what Sora is doing. Um, the original Aleph was built on Go, so now they're going to use Rust, so they call it Aleph 2.0. It's going to be built on Rust, and the reason why is because 
we are going to integrate a substrate, which uh, makes it you know very very interesting project to keep an eye on. So it's a DAG on a substrate chain, and that's a uh, that's pretty awesome. I'd like to see uh, how this project does really. And on uh, the next quarter, uh, they're going to continue research and they're going to you know do a little bit more in depth research on front running, which is kind of like a huge problem with Uniswap, except that they're going to use uh, encrypted order book. Okay, so this is something that uh, I don't think other people have. So by hiding that information, you know, obviously it's going to use their uh, privacy smart contract. Then you prevent front running, right? And and that's really interesting. And they also said order book. So I'm not sure what that means. It could mean that um, you know their decks uh, may not use an AMM, or it could use both an AMM and an order book. So you know we, we saw that one of the projects out there. So it's a pretty interesting space. Uh, I'm really really uh, excited to uh, find out. Now of course one of other things that you need to have is uh, you know being a uh, uh, basically, a, a separate chain from Ethereum is actually a bridge to Ethereum because all that liquidity is still on Ethereum, right? So, on the third quarter, then you know they're going to start um, practical MPC integration, uh, which is the privacy part uh, with smart contract, and they're going to continue that research. So it looks like, yeah, and the bridge uh, they will have some uh, basically. Um, well, when it comes to a bridge, uh, having a decentralized bridge is absolutely important. So they plan to do that by a threshold uh, ECDSA. So I think roughly around, I'm not sure exactly the launch date, but I would assume that um, you know it would launch possibly third quarter or fourth uh, quarter this year. So uh, do look it up. It's uh, you know if you're a fan of uh, DAG based protocol, uh, but also a fan of like uh, Polkadot. And kind of like Cardano, this is an interesting project that's uh, basically you know using all of it. And the other interesting part is uh, you know uh, subsequent finality, which is uh, absolutely awesome. And you know um, I think there's a mention here that free value transfer transaction. Okay, so this is really interesting, right? So uh, obviously when you have such a concept, you would worry about spam. Like uh, on Tron, they actually have a concept for energy. So I'm not sure how it's going to be managed here, but it's always good to have uh, you know free value transfer because uh, when you have that, uh, in actual fact, uh, that makes a lot of like minuscule, really small transactions possible. So thank you very much. Uh, uh, I hope you like this video. Hit that like button and subscribe if you like it. Thank you. Bye bye.